Bon dia guys, I am at the base of Everest 15, third repeat, not in a good headspace this morning, not really feeling like being here, a few personal things going on, yeah just thought I'd check in, but you guys know that it's not all smooth sailing, but the idea of spending 12 hours alone today isn't all that enticing, but I've got a bigger goal. I want to help people going through a difficult time. I want to raise some money. And so any help you guys can give me financially to reach that goal would be very much appreciated. Anyway, I'm going to crack on. I'll chat to you guys soon. Guys, welcome back. It has been a really, really interesting week. And I probably look tired, and that's because I am tired. The week started on a, on a real high. We had a great turnout at Climb Club with 12 riders. This was our biggest, I guess, turnout to date. So that was great. We even had some local supporters on the sidelines uh, cheering on as we uh, climbed the famous golf course climb. But on Monday night, I received some news from back home that threw me into a bit of a spin. And while I'm not gonna go into that in detail because I don't think it really matters, I wanna give you guys a little bit of context around what I'm trying to manage at the moment from a physical and a mental point of view. You know, I've received some really bad news on Monday night and this week I actually had to Everest on Tuesday because we had some filming planned for Thursday. And so I got to bed, I didn't sleep very well at all, I didn't have proper nutrition, you know, I talk on about nutrition, I just didn't eat properly. I woke up the following morning not in the mood for an Everest and in any normal situation I'd have, you know, rolled over, gone back to sleep and, you know, done what I you know, should and probably needed to have done. But I've got a, I've got a goal this year and I'm trying to raise a million euro for, for mental health awareness. And I find that having that goal, yeah, inspires me to get out on the bike and, you know, push through these difficult times. And it provides me with a sense of motivation, but it's also... I'm also going through a really difficult time and I, in my own head, like the idea of sitting there and Everesting for 12 hours alone isn't isn't ideal, especially having received this sort of negative news. I uh, went down, jumped in the car and drove to the base of the climb down at the coast this week. And I, yeah, I cracked on um, and I tried to capture some of my, I guess, emotion or my uh, my mental headspace while, while I was there. So I've yeah, recorded a few snippets. Well, the first quarter, or just over a quarter, is done. Gone through a bit of a difficult patch today and not really enjoying being on the bike alone. I've got too much time to think about things. So I thought I'd jump on here and talk to myself. I sort of feel better about things when I talk about it aloud. The bike's normally very therapeutic for me when I'm going through a difficult time and what I'm finding today is that I almost have too much time to think, which is maybe it'll be a good thing, but at the moment I'm a bit anxious about things. So I got the music in from the beginning today. Normally I'd never do that. Just trying to calm my thoughts down a bit. But yeah, just wanted to share with you guys that oh, today's a bit of a difficult one. But yeah, I'm, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm really struggling probably more so mentally than physically. I battled through that Everest. I, to be honest, I hated every second, every minute of it. Oh, I'm copying it all today. Rain, slippery roads. Oh, mental fucking sump. But uh, I cracked on because I'm, you know, through, through doing what I'm doing, I'm gonna make a difference and I'm gonna change, I hope to change the lives of others from a mental health point of view. And I got to the end and I was, you know, proud of myself for finishing and... Tell you what, that is one cold, wet, very miserable day. Probably can't see there, but my toes, and my fingers for that matter, are like an old man's hand. Actually, what I'm most proud about today is 
The way that I handled my mental self was not in a good way from the start. As I alluded to some things going on back home. Yeah, I've got a goal and I want to I want to achieve that goal. And so despite, you know, some difficult times, put my head down, gritted my teeth and pushed on through. And I think it's a, it's a bit of a metaphor for getting through life, really. Anyway, there's my two cents worth. I'm off. Yeah, this week has just been a real, a real difficult one. The following day, I got out for my typical recovery ride and, you know, the theme of the week seems to be a little bit negative and so I rode in the rain for two and a half hours. Another wet day in paradise. Today, recovery, a thousand metres up L's. Well, up and down L's. And then a little photo shoot with my mate Tristan for some more rest. It was actually fine. The rain was, um, wasn't too cold, so I was sort of happy to get out there and get it done. It sort of was representative of what I'm going through inside my mind at the moment. Thursday was a bit of a backflip and it helped to pick up my mood. We did some filming with my media and creative team for a little project that's going to go live shortly. This feels so good, doing something completely different today. No elevation required. I'm just riding it for the sake of the enjoyment of riding. And we spent uh, most of the day actually at the Monsane region, exploring some of those roads and just trying to enjoy what it what it means to be on a bike. So that was great. And having those friends around me really helped to pick up my mood. It's something that I wanted to sort of dig into in a little bit more detail is that importance of having friends around you when you're going through a difficult time. And so what I found this week is just having those friends around me, asking them if I'm okay, checking in on me and you know being there when I need to see them has been a real help in you know helping to put my mind at ease a little bit. So Thursday was great. I got home, I hadn't eaten enough calories and so we did an obligatory at McDonald's stop. I swear there is no sponsorship deal with McDonald's. I just understand the importance of getting calories in when I'm burning them like there is no tomorrow. The following day, I got out for an easy ride with a few mates around the Canet d'Adri region, taking in the famous rapeseed plants and some of those roads which are my I guess the favorite of the region that was good fun and then I enjoyed a crepe with uh with Harrison and his girlfriend Carla again good fun good to be around people that I uh I care about and that care about you know the way that I'm feeling yeah it was nice we um had a little cheeky ice cream afterwards which always helps to pick up the spirits yeah I guess the following day I uh helped my mate Harrison with a little lactate test sciencey geeky something I'm not very good at but always willing to help with we uh, set him up on the trainer at my house on the Wahoo Kicker and basically put him through 40 or 50 minutes of hell in order to find his lactate threshold levels. How was that, mate? I mean, my finger's pretty sore. Show us what's going on there. I got stabbed a few times. I don't know if you can see it. Yeah, that's pretty hard. Good job, um, man. Holding yeah. some big waddies. Hopefully, you can get him bigger. Again, I don't know anything about it, but his coach is going to check it out and report back into him. And then finally, a bit of Parry Roubaix on the TV, and uh, yeah, just a nice, relaxed way to wrap up the weekend, just given everything that's happened this week. Again, I don't want to come across too negative, but um, I want you guys to know that I'm actually struggling a little bit at the moment, and I'm, I'm not afraid to talk about it. I'd prefer to be honest with you guys, so if my mood comes across as a little bit down, that is why. Tomorrow is a new day, a new week is upon us, and I'm looking forward to getting stuck into some more vert. Hopefully with a little bit more luck from a, I guess, a mental health side point of view, whatever you want to call it. If you haven't already, I don't want to harp on about it. I find it quite difficult to ask for donations and ask people to get behind what I'm doing. I would love if you could spare a couple of minutes and a couple of dollars in helping me to reach this goal of raising a million euro. You can do so. I've provided a link below in the description. Again, I enjoy this, but I'm not doing this for fun. I'm actually trying to make a difference. So anything you can help with would be much appreciated. So uh, let's wrap things up there and I will see you soon. Adios.